Good morning. It is now Tuesday and I have pulled an all-nighter editing yesterday's video. While I was doing that, I was also scrolling through OfferUp, seeing if I can find any good offers. And I found this one right here, especially given that Super Smash Bros. Melee goes for almost majority of that. But let's go pick it up and try to make a profit off of it. Bag is now secured. We got Super Smash Bros. Melee, which even though it's just discs, still goes for a lot. We got Star Wars, the video game, number one. Yesterday we got number two, and so did today. <laughs> did not expect it, but it came with the bundle, so can't be mad. SpongeBob SquarePants, that was not bad. X-Men Legends, classics that can for sure make some profit. All right, now that we're back home, let's go take these to my dad. See if we can polish these and make them look clean. All right, right now we're heading to buy another game. This one's going to be for $15. It's called Beautiful Joe. And it does not have the manual, but I still think we can sell it for 25 bucks. Another bag secured. Why is it the middle of the day and it's 48 degrees? My toes are freezing, my hands are freezing. I'm fucking dying. So these are all polished. Some of them had like rust right here. I don't know you can tell, but overall, I'm happy. Now the only thing that is left is getting a good grip for these. I think today was a success, even though we did not sleep at all. We still got a video up. We picked up some good games that we're able to flip. We actually put some things up on eBay and hopefully tomorrow we're able to put more things up on offer up in different websites it's a brand new day and today we are going to be talking about my investment portfolio as you can see here for the day we are up about 11 dollars for the week we are down about 34 dollars for the month we are still up 150 dollars as you can see since we have broken up here around november 8th is when things drastically started changing and i believe that is also when i got my loan but it's crazy because many people would have seen this dip right here and gotten scared but i wasn't i invested more when this dip happened and now we have kind of been stagnant we just gotta keep investing right now i have not been investing because my average in all of these are honestly pretty low so for prospect capital the price is at five dollars and 61 but my average is at 532 so the more i buy at 561 the higher my average is gonna go same thing with agnc my average is at five 824 right now it's at eight 88. Even Dynex Capital, the last position I started investing into, the one that I have the least of, I still entered at 1107 and right now they're at 1144. My average when I first started investing was under $11. So the more I buy while they're in the green, the higher the average cost. You don't want to keep buying into the stocks that are doing good, although you do want to get more shares. So I'm excited to see what dividends I get for December. Today's a brand new day. Yesterday we bought a couple of games. I'm excited for this reselling journey later today. We are actually going to go pick up more Pokemon cards But this reselling thing is a whole grind and journey So make sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below if you guys have any retro games that you think are valuable That's crazy. We're already at the end of November and hey, we killed it this month I appreciate you guys every single one of you guys for watching any of the videos that I uploaded this month Because this is probably the most consistent month I've had so far. I want December to be such a great end of the year I appreciate you guys for every single comment and like you guys have left even if you've left a dislike i appreciate you and yeah let's get through the day monk mode so far has been hard obviously it's boring it's the same thing every single day let's, let's have a great day so i accepted the offer on ebay for the nfl street 2 yeah he asked for 20 dollars. i was selling it for 23 although ebay takes their fees i'm not gonna be paying for shipping so i should still be receiving about 17 dollars which is more than i expected to i was expecting to sell it for 15 dollars which is good we gotta try to sell more things that's all the inventory we actually want to make money on these things but at the moment we're actually gonna go buy some more inventory yeah it might sound stupid but we're picking up some more pokemon cards wow so beautiful Like every time I think it's the end, it's not the end yet. Yep, I got it. Um, happy with the deal. I got it for 50. At first he had it up for 75 and I was like, uh, would you be able to do 60? He said, yeah, I'll do 60. And he said he just wanted to get rid of it because he, he was getting rid of the condo. I had to put $10 of gas. Can I get it for 50? And he said, yep. Who was a cool dude too? I looked at the cards. They're not all just like random cards. Like, I'll see how, how I'll be able to profit off of it. But I think I'll be able to profit good because 
there's well over 300 cards and he said the money is there but he just doesn't know the knowledge or anything like that to be able to sell it and i'll be honest neither do i but i worked at psa for a bit stealing cards and i feel like i know what would be valuable and what wouldn't hopefully we're able to make money back it was only 50 bucks so how can i be mad i'm happy I have not done any of my non-negotiables and that is something I need to fix. I need to stop waiting until the end of the day to do it. If I would have done it earlier, I would have already been done with it and not have to be worrying about it. With that being said, it is 6, it is the end of the market. Let me show you guys how the market did today. Coming to the end of the 1 month mark here, we are positive $20 for the day and for the week we are down $23. That's fine because for the whole month we are up $168.40. Six cents, but that's only one month. Obviously, we're not going to sell, so it's not actually profit. If we look here, we do have a couple dividends pending. Oh, that's one of the only ones I'm gonna show you right now. I'll show you guys when I receive every single dividend for December, but this is profit, not even including the dividends. So the dividends, like I said before, is to pay for the interest that I receive on the loan. So for the loan, it is $30 of interest at the moment. We are in the green. We have have bought at the right time and we haven't sold so obviously it's not profit and I do not plan on selling because I want to have as many shares as possible in these stocks so I can continue to increasingly get dividends so that means every single month is going to be more than the prior with that being said like I said earlier I also sold two things on eBay totaling to about 70 something dollars that is before having to pay for the shipping which i'm going to do tomorrow and right now i'm actually about to go to target pick up another binder for the pokemon cards oh, all right so we got a new binder that's something we're gonna work on right now so right here i have the cards that are still part of the other cards the one that came with the bin these cards are the cards i got today i am not going to be putting these cards into the binder i might get a binder for this in, in itself just so i can know that all of these cards costed me $50 and hopefully maybe we can sell this for a hundred we'll see the reason I would buy a binder for this is just for presentation wise I feel like I feel like it's more professional to sell cards in a binder or even to present them that they're in a binder so that you know that they're organized and that they're also kept in good condition but we did end up getting two sales for a total of let me check 74.15 that's including shipping so we'll see how much we spend on shipping tomorrow hopefully it's not too much but they did pay four dollars and 44 cents in shipping and four dollars and 24 cents in shipping put that aside for tomorrow morning these are all the games that i put listed on top of these movies so i got these games that i'm still deciding whether i'm gonna keep or selling these are gonna be played on my gaming channel and then after finishing off the game i'll decide if it deserves to stay in the collection or if i should flip it for a profit everything we're gonna list for a profit so far not so bad i do want to go through some of these cards because this this came with good cards it's like 60 cents a card to get this many cards for 60 bucks is actually very good. Like they're all like hollows too or like reverse hollows. Some are obviously random cards, but like these are not no joke. He said he was selling the condo so he was just trying to get rid of as many things. And to get these for 50 bucks, not bad, less than a dollar a card.